Hi everyone, and welcome to the Round Tower Ardmore, a video by Roisin Bjog Productions, narrated by me, Gale Force Audios. <laughs> so Ardmore is in County Waterford, also known as the Daisha, or Port Larga, or Squelga. And here we have a little Viking surfing his way over to the Round Tower. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's the sculpture of a fisherman proudly standing in his boat. Notice the whale there to the left. Stuck in the concrete. Having a whale of a time. <laughs> and that's St Paul's Church, which was built in 1838 and dedicated in 1841. And it was in use until 1948. And it's still a place of worship in the summer for the Harvest Festival and the Candlelit Carol Service in November. And the sign says, <laughs> This is the way to God Island, St. Declan's Cathedral, Ardo House, the Round Tower, and where you want to go if you want to go walk off a cliff, which I don't advise. <laughs> but I do advise you to come in a little walk to Click Hawk which literally means bell house but it means wrong tower in this case for this recording <laughs> so that's the thing about Gaelic lads it's got that poetic license energy We're going for a little stroll up the Boher, or road. Boher is Irish for road. Nice little leaf there, blowing in the wind. And you may be able to see the graves on the left, over the wall. And here's the wrong tower in all its majesty. And some more graves. Celtic crosses. Now the monastery here was said to be founded by St. Declan in the 5th century, which predates St. Patrick. And the tower is said to be erected in the 12th century or possibly the 10th century, some say. And they were used to preserve life and cultural heritage during the times of Viking raiders. And here is a shot where the monks would peek out at those pesky Vikings as they were docking their langskips or warships. And can you imagine the panic when those boats were docking? It must have been absolutely terrifying, huh? This is the view from the beach, Ardmore Beach, where the Vikings would sail in to try to get their booty, <laughs> our loot. <laughs> and it's a beautiful beach in the sunny southeast. And the beach is a mile long and is situated between Dungarvan and Yall. And it's a really lovely place to come visit if you come to Ireland. The ancient east is called. So the early monastic settlements had very little protection from the Vikings and they were built from wood and they were often burned to the ground so this led to the monastic communities building stone churches 
which could be quickly restored after red. The Vikings burned Kells in County Mead three times in 50 years. And Kells is home of the famous Book of Kells. It's worth checking out. Check out the Book of Kells. And that's a view back down the road. And the obligatory ominous crow flying by. There's a view of the steps. Where the Vikings would have definitely struggled to walk up. As their average height was only 5 foot 6. <laughs> yeah, they probably stood on each other's shoulders or something. And there we have the monastery. Will we have a walk in? I think we will. Now Irish monasteries were known to be some of the best monasteries in the world for the teaching of poetry, literature and arts and the gospel of course. And the monks were known to be very welcoming or sound out. <laughs> Unless you had a Viking helmet on you of course then they'd be kind of shy. <laughs> but they welcomed people from all over the world to come learn and study. And that is how Ireland got its name the land of saints and scholars, which is still called today. And here we have an armstone and these date back to the 5th and 6th centuries. And their language is primitive Irish or Pictish, which is a Scottish language. Scottish. Hi, Scotland. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? I can't read them, though. Sorry. <laughs> And the tower is 30 meters high and you do get a little vertigo when you stand there in a cup of it. And the doorway is four meters from the ground. And it had five wooden floors reached by a series of ladders. And each story had one small narrow window. And the top floor, or bell space, had four windows facing the main compass points. And they were used for lookout points for when the Vikings would attack. And so the monks would use them to sound the alarm and call the community for prayer also. During the raids they would climb up on a rope ladder into the tower and bolt the doors which were made of strong oak. And they would just sit out the madness. And wait for the raid to be over and for the Vikings to move on to their next target. And they'd actually watch the Vikings sail away as well, having kept their manuscripts and treasure safe until the next raid. And the Viking raids ended in 1014, they lasted for about two centuries until Brain Brew kicked their asses. <laughs> Good old BB. <laughs> Don't mess with BB, Vikings. And 
And so there we have it. And I hope you enjoy this little tour of the ancient East. And let us know what you think in the comments. And we also have another video coming really soon. So bye for now. And thanks for watching. Slon.